you know, this is a guy who coming from San Diego State who Pumphrey last year, who was a much smaller man, um, kind of, you know, produced similarly to uh, Penny. Uh, Penny, you know, finished a little better, but this is the first, the only school in FBS history to produce back-to-back 2,000-yard rushers. So uh, Not taking anything away from either one of those guys, um, but the the competition is a little lesser than some of these other guys that we've been talking about. And, uh, you know, I, I, my, I guess my biggest knock on this guy is that sometimes, especially against when you see him playing against maybe a little bit stiffer competition, mm-hmm. that I feel like he's really electric and he's a game breaker and you got a key on him and all those kind of things. But when you can get and pressure him like before he gets going, like I feel like he needs like a little bit of a runway to get going. And then once he's rolling, it's really hard to bring him down. But if you can get a hold of him, I feel like there's a lot of soft tackles behind the line of scrimmage for how big this guy is. Yeah. Um, well, when you look at the highlight tape, he, he might not be touched one single time throughout that whole highlight tape. Like, right. It starts Gaping off holes everywhere. Right. And it starts off with a 95 yard touchdown run, which to score 95 from 95 yards out you definitely got to have some speed and some 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 lasting speed to your yeah. run. Well, the long speed is incredible for right. this guy. And like you said, when he gets ahead of steam going, it's 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 fun to watch. Um and he definitely gets what's blocked, which they were blocking a lot of stuff for him. Um but for Which is kind of why I threw out a, I think there this offensive line well, sorry to cut you off. No, go ahead. The offensive line what I was reading was like they, they had a lot of backups in this offensive line from when Pumphrey moved on, and they didn't really go out and switch too much up. They just let the backups kind of come in and do what they were doing, and, and, and it really worked out well for them. I feel, feel like this was a decent unit in, in the uh, Mountain West or whatever the hell conference they're in over there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, once once he's, they, they, they were giving him some room, and once he got that head of steam, he was really tough. But and, and I did think that he showed you some shiftiness at times, and he scored... Oh, for uh, sure. He scored several return touchdowns. I mean, and, and a kick return, like or punt return. Um, he he he's lethal in, in when he's got that space. But I didn't really see him creating too much on his own. Like right. there was that one play versus Hawaii where he dragged the dude across the field sure. for like ten yards, and that was that was entertaining. But like I went I went back and rewatched uh, you know a few of the of the better teams that they played against, and like it was evident that this dude's yards after contact were not great. Like, whereas, you know, carry on Johnson and Ronald Jones and, and even to some extent, Royce Freeman, when those boys were getting, exactly. when those boys were getting touched and contacted, they were breaking tackles and not losing their stride. I did not see too many yards created after that initial contact. And if, and if those guys, it was either like runs that were stopped right near the line of scrimmage or they were like big runs through big holes. Right. And so like, I, I didn't. I didn't think he he's breaking as many tackles as a, as a natural running back should be able to, and is going to have to in the next level. Yeah. So it just seemed like that. It just takes, you know, a little bit of churning to get the traction on the tires there before he's up to that that full speed, and that's when he's really dangerous. Like right. you said on the kickoffs, right. when he's got an alley and he can get rolling. Like, see ya. Forget it. He's he's phenomenal. And when you watch the highlights, it's like, oh, man, this guy's special. But it's like when you really get down to it and start watching it, and maybe he is special. Maybe we're looking into this a little too much. But And this this will all change as, as things kind of pan out. But again, like you said, he's not touched a lot. He's running through big holes. Mm-hmm. And when he's, eight, you know, but those times where there are players pressing him in the backfield, he seems to go down kind of softly. And uh, he, I think he's a good kind of one cut and go kind of guy, mm-hmm. which you know, I'm not a huge fan of player comps, like I said already, but maybe like a Latavius Murray kind of guy who, yeah. you know, a lot of people say he needs a runway to get going. And once he gets going, it's, you know. Yeah, I think Latavius has probably improved over the years. This last year was the best I've seen him look. Look, he cut weight. I'd like to see what yeah. the weight difference was and, and all that stuff. But Yeah, and Penny's a big dude. He's 220 pounds. Um, he's a big dude. That, that helps uh, create that that downhill gravitational force when he gets going, those yeah. big dudes that get going are tough to I bring mean, to down. Have, he, I think he had like five games in a row with over 200 yards or something like that. And th- th- those are impressive. Yeah, the last five to 2017. Those, that's an impressive number. Yeah, that's but a serious number there. It's, you know, I, I hate talking about the competition that you're playing, but some of that was the competition that you're playing. And it's just yeah, like... San Jose State, 
uh, Nevada, New Mexico, and Army. You're getting your a lot of those runs were 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 really well blocked, and and like I said, when the, when he gets rolling, he's really hard to bring down. The long speed is exceptional, especially from a 220 pound man. Um, I didn't see a whole lot of pass protection out there. I did see him kind of whiffing on some. So, yeah, I, that, I wasn't that impressed that was, with it. Again, also right there with you, I think the pass protection looked kind of suspect. He at times didn't know or make the best decision on which guy to pick up. Right. Um, he's late. was late getting to his man mm-hmm. a bunch of times. Um, I, I will say that he was pretty versatile. They did line him up all over the place and he played wide receiver, you know, some, a, a, a good bit. I think more yeah. than, you know, more than these other guys, it seemed like just playing, like lining up as a receiver, not a back out of the backfield. Yeah. Um, I didn't see too and much. I thought he had he decent only, hands. He had, he had 42 catches. Over his career, yeah. Um, but but I did think a lot of that was handsy catching. Um, I'm always looking for. Do you let that thing get up on your body, or do you you snatch it out of the air? So I think he's he's right in line with these other guys we've been talking about as of, as far as all these dudes can catch. I think it's just I think we're just going to see this more and more because these boys know right. that they got to catch the ball. Like, yeah, I mean that, that's that's something to absolutely for sure. When we came into this, we were like we were talking about. Well, he can catch it. Well, he can catch it. Well, he can catch it. And it's like. All these guys can kind of catch it. It's kind of a prerequisite at this point. Like, right. if you're an RB, you got to be able to catch the ball. And you know, like Darius Geis doesn't have a ton of pass catching things on his resume, but Darius Geis could catch the football. Like right. Leonard Fournette could catch the football. Like, right. Just because they don't do it doesn't mean that they can't catch the football. Right. Obviously, you know Saquon can catch the football because they threw it to him a good bit. But all these guys are super athletic. At one point in their at time in their f- football career, they probably played a different position, maybe mm-hmm. receiver or quarterback or you know whatever. But these, these these guys can all pretty much catch it. So it's like one of those things where you're like, oh, well, he's a really good pass catcher. Some of these guys are better cat, pass catchers than others. And as we talked about at the top of the program with carry on, he looks pretty natural catching the ball. And I think Ronald Jones was underused catching the ball. Rashad doesn't look bad catching the ball at all. Yeah, I agree. That's um, that's one thing I was impressed with a little bit. Um and I just there was other things I wasn't impressed with, and and and. Well, we gave we gave Royce Freeman the the shout out on the vision and following your blockers, and you know I guess I gotta give I gotta give Rashad Penny some some of that same do decent decent vision. I think Freeman's vision's a little better, better competition, and and all that, so on and so forth. But you know, can't take anything. He still he, when when those holes are there, you still gotta run through right. them and, and know where yeah. to go and what to do and, and follow them. And so I'm, I know there's a conglomerate of people who think that this guy's like maybe could even be like the third fourth best back in this thing and yeah, i, 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 I kind of got him i kind of got him a little lower than that after watching us everything that i possibly could from him yeah um, i could i could see i mean we we're still early and i don't know how you could have possibly have a, an opinion on every single skill position player coming right. out at this point you know we kind of picked four or five guys to look into which we thought um, were maybe possibly the next tier of guys here, which is why we're talking about him. Right, and I think I've got him at the bottom of this tier, and I'm, I could I'm definitely see, in agreement. I could see us finding some other dudes that we move up above him, you know, moving him in, moving other guys into this tier, and maybe him down. I don't. I could see maybe he. But what about his size adjusted speed score? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like we won't really know anything until we get to the combine, but uh. <laughs> sarcasm for but, your pleasure but, but again like i you know we i started off with kind of talking about the pumphrey thing and 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 all that stuff the san diego state blocking um, he led the college football in, in rushing last year he had a high yards per attempt as well um so i'm not taking anything away from penny but san diego state has, has been decent at running the ball over the last couple of years he has he had for his career it was average of 7.5 yards per carry i wonder what his yards before contact per carry was yeah. I bet it was pretty strong it's like you said when you watch the rest of these guys their contact is a lot doesn't heavier than them. right than, and it doesn't what's trip going them on up with, and, with and penny and yeah you see him dragging some guys and you see him doing some other things that are like oh that's kind of cool but then when you get the whole story i feel like it tells paints a different picture right and which, that's is why we, which is why we i think we both agree he's at and the bottom obviously we both could be dead wrong he could be the best back in this class but that's yeah that, that was that was my evaluation and you and i kind of came away with with the same uh takeaway really yeah yeah solid we do that uh, we do that almost suspectly here at married to the game but what know, can you do it's kind of why we're friends we think the same way about some <laughs> stuff so all right well i think that'll uh do it for today's show i hope you enjoyed our first crack at taking some rookie talk we're on it earlier than we were last year for yeah. your pleasure 
Be sure to uh, hit us up on iTunes. Give us a five star review. You don't even have to write a review anymore. You can just, just go click down the five and buttons. Click those five stars. I did want to give a quick. I've done a little Akram Wadley and a little uh, Justin Jackson. I I think both of those guys are pretty interesting guys to uh, look at. And Justin Jackson could definitely factor up up into this uh, echelon here of maybe passing Penny of quite possibly. I haven't dove really too heavy into him, but what I saw initially was pretty decent, pretty versatile guy yeah. uh, over at Northwestern. And Wadley's a little smaller kind of back, but a little bit more like a Ronald Jones kind of player. So that he both interesting guys. Yeah, we, Justin Jackson was the fifth player. We always have like an extra guy just in case we don't take forever or have extra time, which we didn't get to him this week. Um, I, I started looking into his, some of his game logs and stuff. Some of that looks pretty impressive. Yeah, he, but haven't delved into much of that yet. We're Good pass catcher. Slow and steady is the course here at Married to the Game, but we're going to be coming at you every week. Um, Quick shout out, shout out to uh, Martez Carter over at Grambling. Interesting tape there to, to yeah. lay your eyes on a little bit. I didn't really break it down, but just as he's fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. So Nice. All right, well, uh, we're not just on iTunes. Go hit subscribe on any of your other platforms of choice. Podbean, YouTube. Podbean, Google Play, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, the YouTubes. For your pleasure. Uh, you got anything else, hit us up on Twitter, at the FF Dynasty. We have our own individual handles. You can find Casey at IMC Myers. You can find me at Dynasty Big Co. That's <laughs> He is not at Dynasty Big Co. He is at Jay Wayne's World. And the third member of our crew who is missing, yeah. Mr. Big Co., <laughs> is at Dynasty Big Co. He's just usually the second one we say, so I, I blew that anyway. Uh, that'll do it for today's show. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Until next time, you've been listening to the FF Dynasty's Man!